by grace you're saved through faith and that not of yourselves the gift of God not of works least any man should boast so we're saved by grace through faith in Jesus alone without works okay you know there are some churches that don't preach repentance they just preach believe and it's based on believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved um, but the trouble is if you've got a group of people that that uh, believe and don't repent and they say oh well, the doctrine is they repent sometime later they're not saved until they repent you've got yeah. a mass of people sitting in your church who believe in Jesus but they don't have the things that accompany salvation yeah. they haven't turned repentance unto life the Bible speaks they're still in their sins if they mm -hmm. haven't repented I think that teaching is a heresy. It's wrong. It's evil. It's wicked. It leads people to think they go to heaven because of their works, just like Church of Christ. If you get baptized, you now get to go to heaven because that water washes away your sin. No, the blood of Jesus Christ washes away your sin. What you say, Amy? I'm serious. There's a knife in my back. I've got three minutes to live. I say, Amy, I'm scared of dying. What can I do to be saved? What will you tell me? You ask Jesus Christ to forgive you for all of your sins. Because what I have to do? Well, God has sent Jesus Christ here to forgive you for all of your sins. He has sacrificed himself. So you're living in holiness? I'm not perfect, honey. I'm just forgiven. So you're not living in holiness? Um, Amy, I'm, I'm concerned for you. I'm concerned I'm for your salvation. Because just accepting our Lord Jesus Christ and believing him without holiness added to it, does not save us. Oh, I'm sorry, I disagree. My salvation is dependent upon the genetics I inherited from my Heavenly Father. It's like my sonship to my dad was not dependent upon my actions. It was dependent upon genetics. I was his son. I'm in the family. Whether I'm good or bad, I'm, he's stuck with me and I'm stuck with him. You cannot change dads later in life. Okay, And my Heavenly Father is responsible for my salvation. I was born again. I was regenerated from the word genes, generate, regenerated. I was made new. Now, when I live holy, he's pleased with me, and when I don't live holy, he's not pleased with me. But whether he's pleased with me or not has nothing to do with my salvation. I'm the furthest thing from perfect. Tenny, I'm just forgiven. I try to live as according to the Bible as I can. So you're living in holiness? I'm not perfect, Tenny. I'm just forgiven. I'm not asking if you're living, in, if, if you're perfect. I'm saying, are you living in holiness? Well, holiness would be 100%. Like no, it says, without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. So what are you going to do if you're not holy? How can you be holy? Uh, without holiness, no man shall see God. That is correct. And I have holiness from Jesus Christ. See, his righteousness was put on my account. I have his robe of righteousness. On account, of, I don't have any righteousness of my own. To, I can't offer him anything. I'm a wicked, vile sinner, and said, God, would you save me by your grace? Sure, son, sin's forgiven. Put my righteousness on him. I'm going to heaven because of what he did, and you think you're going to heaven because of what you do. We'll see how that works out for you, Judgment Day. You think that your attempt at living holy entitles you to stay in the family of God. That is a dangerous heresy. You are in the family of God, if you're in the family of God at all, by the grace of God, through faith. Are you By grace are you saved through faith. By faith, he is, this is Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. Um, my salvation is not dependent on my goodness at all. Now, my Heavenly Father being pleased with me, now that depends upon my daily actions, just like it did with my dad growing up. Some days it's, hey, son, I'm proud of you. Good job. Other days it's, oh, son, come on. What is wrong with you, boy? <laughs> Straighten up, okay? But that didn't change my relationship. That's my dad. I'm in the family. He's my father. So don't confuse things that... <clears throat> get you into the family, which is birth, with things that please you, that may f f fulfill your role in the family. I think you're confusing that. There are two things you have to do to be saved. You must repent. Not just ask Jesus into your heart, but turn from all sin. No more lying, stealing, blasphemy. No more lust. Turn from all sin and live in holiness and trust alone in Jesus. And your life should be evidence of it. You shouldn't, shouldn't let foul words come out of your mouth. You should live in holiness. This is your salvation. There's nothing more important. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you're confusing here. Somebody gives you salvation and you get it. It's that sim it really is that simple, okay? So don't confuse your trying to live. First place, 
Even your best attempts at living holy are failures. Our righteousnesses are like filthy rags before the Creator. My salvation is secure because of what Jesus did, not because of what I do. Why don't you go do something else? Go mow your grass or something. Go shovel the sidewalk. I don't know. And I bet you think you're in that group. You think you're one of the few that is making it. Yes, I bet you do. This is called arrogancy and pride and hypocrisy. Okay, your righteousnesses are as filthy rags. Make sure you, you live in holiness, you trust in the Savior, and you read your Bible daily. Okay, does this make sense? This is pure heresy. If you think getting into heaven is based on your walking in obedience, you are not going, okay? Because you're not trusting Jesus. That's not salvation. That's not what biblical salvation is about. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. Hath, present tense. As soon as you believe, you've got it. You don't get it maybe if you're good. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You've got it right then. Read John 3, 15 and 16. I don't even know what lordship salvation is, but it's apparently I'm saying that you've got to repent. You've got to repent what you do, but it's not works. You better get off that high horse and that proud attitude you've got and say, God, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I, I want to go to heaven because of what you do, not me.